Okay, here's a teaser for you. Our crew can't wait to hear what we're gonna say next about this. Why do we guys. hurt the ones we love? An article at thecut.com asks why many of us, definitely not me, sometimes <laughs> treat our partners like human garbage while putting on a kinder facade for friends, strangers, random dogs we meet on the street. Uh, can you relate to this? Anyone? Anyone? I, I mean, guilty as charged. Jason's brought this up before in the past in our relationship. You know, we've been together for 20 years and he said, you, you would never say what you just said to a friend of yours. And I have, have to admit, like it's he's made correct. me go, yeah, he's yeah. right. What do you think it is? I think what happens is that at a certain point, like first of all, we we don't live with our friends. We don't, Correct. you know, we don't clean dishes with our friends. We don't share bathrooms with our friends. We don't do any of that stuff. And so I think familiarity breeds contempt. And there's a point at which you can start to veer into sibling territory, yeah. right? But you don't have a sibling and Jason doesn't have a sibling. So what's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I'm an equal opportunity, not nice person. Like Yasika always says to me, like, <laughs> she, he was like, you don't talk to the neighbors, you don't talk to anyone, your crabby face is for me and for the outside world. Like yep. he gets the crab that the, uh, the world gets. Right. So it's equal crab everywhere. That's well, how that's, I am. That is, that, I mean, that's interesting. First of all, I just need to debunk a myth once and for all here, because you talk like that about Yasik, and I've seen you two together a lot and you are the loveliest yeah. person to him. So this facade, don't buy it, people. Don't yeah. buy it, uh-uh. She puts on a good game. You are a lovely wife. That's very nice you of you You are a to lovely say. human being. Thank you for being my publicist. You know, no, I'm not, I'm not there's no spin. You're not wrong. You're, you're not, there's no spin on this. That is absolutely true. You might actually be the nicest because I too, familiarity breeds contempt. I, last night, um, Ryan and I and Marquez, we were actually shooting something together that we were doing um, and we were actually, we, were, we had the show on in the background and Marquesa said something to me that stopped me in my tracks and she said, the person that's up there pointing to the <gasps> TV is not the person you're being right now. <gasps> no, she Whoa. did yeah. Girl seven going on 27. And I said, what did you mean by that? And she said, she, I, I understood in the moment, I was being on for TV. I was very tired yesterday. It was a very long day. I was trying to get this thing done for work. And I just wanted to like chill and have dinner with my family. I was hangry. And I was not a nice person last night. And I was not nice to the two closest people in my oh. life, Marquesa and Ryan. And so, yes, it's the people who are closest to you that are gonna trip you down the stairs, right? That it's that idea that that's the safest place you can also be. Right, be they're yourself. not gonna, Marquez is not gonna be like, you are not nice to me, and I'm gonna pack my bags and leave. Your friends could do that. They could actually be like, peace out, you are, you know what, and I don't want you in my life. So there's a safety. The, it's almost like the meaner you can be, the, the closer more someone is to you. I Isn't was, that the worst? It, it is so true. I was so mean to Simon this summer, and I will say in my defense that they say moving is the second yes. most stressful thing after divorce, but I was so mean, I was such a monster. It got so bad that I was like, maybe I'm perimenopausal. So I actually went to go get blood work done because I was like, there has to be an ex <laughs> explanation for this behavior. Because he was like, it feels like you don't like me. And that made me bull. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I went for the test and everything and they came back negative. <laughs> so now it's just impossible. you. It's just me. And that was almost like, where, where, are you sure? Are you sure you checked that? Okay. Like I wanted that Aww. to be the reason for this poor behavior. But I think it was just, you know, it was a stressful time. Yeah. And then my mom was in the hospital. And then also, like, seeing Simon taking care of her and stuff and then still being a monster. And there wasn't blood work to explain why I'm a monster. <laughs> it I'm is still it, sitting it is, with it. It is perfectly normal. I just will say, like, yes. psychologists will say it really is what Mel was saying, that, you know, like, there's a side of, like, being super intimate with somebody that makes us, like, lower down our, our sort of maybe self-monitoring. But we could all do better. It we're, also makes it interesting. Uh, yeah. What, relationship like, dynamics? Like, Yasik always says, like, when he, I, thank you for, you know, saying that I'm <laughs> nice to him, but he always says to people, I like her like that because she keeps me alert. Like for him, it's boring, and it's just like it's watching so nice a is boring. For him, it's boring. He yeah, yeah, keeps sick. it interesting, keeps it fun. Keeps if you're watching shows. TV, if you're watching TV show, you're not gonna watch the couple that's boring and nicey nice all the time. That's you true. want the ones with the ups and downs. That's not but a TV live. show. It's not a reality show. And life is up and down. It's not yeah. like the same. Mm -hmm. To quote the grandma in Parenthood, you know, the merry-go-round is boring. The roller coaster is fun. Loves and that's it. That's a great I movie. Know, and it stars Keanu Reeves. And it stars Keanu Reeves. Reeves. But. Go.